Arturo thinks that summer times in Miami are great because during the summer he gets to do all sorts of fun things. His parents let him go out and stay out till it gets dark, playing and talking with his friends under the banyan trees. He gets to drink all sorts of delicious mango smoothies and he gets the opportunity to go work in his grandmother's restaurant. But this summer, things are going to be a little bit different. First, there are a couple of really cool things that happen. One he expects and one he doesn't. First of all, this summer Arturo turns 13 years old and he is excited about that. The second thing is, well, he develops his first crush on a girl he's known for years, a girl named Carmen. And those are the good things. But there are some hard things that happen as well. It turns out this summer most of his friends are gone, so he won't have the opportunity to hang around with them. It also turns out that his grandmother gets sick and ends up in the hospital. Finally, it turns out that someone wants to tear down his grandmother's restaurant and build up an apartment building in its place. Arturo and his family don't like this idea at all, and they're willing to fight. In fact, Arturo and Carmen decide to use the power of poetry to try to persuade people to change their mind about the restaurant. The question is, can they? Well, you'll have to find out when you read the book called The Epic Fail of Arturo Zamora by Pablo Curtaya.